in this video let's discuss about structural directives in angular so structural directives are the directives provided by angular these are built in directives in order to perform some conditional operations and these directives are used for manipulating the html elements that is adding removing or manipulating these elements and these are used for reshaping the dom structure so let's see what all the structural directives we are going to use in angular we have ng4 directive ng switch and ng if so these three directives are used in angular in order to perform conditional operations let's take this up one by one let's consider now ng4 with an example Let's quickly switch to Visual Studio Code. Let's create an element here that is div. And before writing ng for statement, let's consider one property inside the app component class that is public names equals this will contain array of names so this names variable contains array of names for example let's take few names here and we okay so we have taken an array of names here so what we need to do next is let's use ng for structural directive for iterating through these names one by one starting from harsha till vinay we need to iterate through these names and display each of these names by using conditional that is looping it, the ng for directive which we are using in angular is similar to for loop which we are using in programming languages so here the syntax for it is first we need to specify asterisk followed by ng4 so this is the syntax for ng4 this will be equal to let name of names okay let name of names so what does this statement mean ng4 is a angular directive built in directive provided by angular for performing looping for loop which we use in programming languages so here let is a variable like we are going to declare int int string in similar way in programming language like similarly here we are going to use let okay and name is the name of the variable which i want to start looping for example in case of for loop in programming language what we do we use for int i equal 0 i less than n i plus plus like that right so i is a variable which we are using here similarly we are using name as a variable okay name variable of of is a keyword which we need to use here names names is what this is the property which we are specifying inside app component class this names con contains array of values this array of values include these names right one two three four names we are including here so what will this happen is each name that is name is a variable each name from names this array it will pick each of these name and it will display on our web page to display on our web page what we need to do we need to write header 3 for example the interpolation concept which we know till now but here what we need to pass we should not pass the property of names here we need to pass the variable which we are looping that is name okay slash h3 so what does this mean using interpolation concept what we are doing here name we are specifying inside this curly braces double curly braces this means that name is similar to i for example in programming language we are using for int i equals 0 i less than 5 i plus plus right so i whatever the variable which we are declaring here we want to loop through that i right 
that is five times for example i less than five we are specifying here we are specifying names which includes the property which we are specifying inside app component class that is one two three four names so these four names it will iterate one by one it will pick this name will pick one by one from these names starting from harsha till vinay and it will display here because we are displaying name the variable here that is starting from first name till last name of names it will pick and it will display here this is the logic for this ng4 how we are using okay let's save these changes let's use the command npm start okay now if you observe the web page here we can see all these names getting displayed starting from harsha till vinay all four names are getting displayed here this is how we are performing looping using ng4 directive specified by angular built in directives okay so how we will understand that this is a structural directive by using this asterisk symbol this indicates that this is a structural directive which we are going to use here okay now what we will do is after displaying these names we want some index to be displayed on these names if you know that index starts from 0 right so this will be 0 1 2 3 so 0 1 2 3 i want to display for each of these names as a prefixes so to do that what we will do is we need to specify semicolon here followed by index i want to display that is index as some variable for example i okay so indexes i want to display by using this variable this variable what i need to do i need to declare here inside to get it displayed along with this name so before this name as a prefix i want to display indexes right so what i will do is i'll pass here by using double curly braces i need to pass i okay and i'm saving the changes now if you observe the web page you can see 0 1 2 3 these indexes are getting displayed as prefix for names which we are going to display here this is how we are going to use ng4 structural directive for looping looping purpose that is if you have an array of names if you want to loop through those array and if you want to display on the web page you can use this syntax using this statement okay thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos